Okay, hi, this is another um, reflection piece for uh, my EdTech blog for my education, um, my EdTech 532 uh, Education Games and Simulations. And the quest is, let me look at it here, the quest is Gaming for Love. And it's it's looking at a infographic called Gamers Get the Girls. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and post, well, here it is right here. And I'm going to go ahead and post the URL just right here somewhere and look it up. It's really interesting. I've pasted it on my Facebook also. But what it basically does is talk about the, the difference between online gaming and, well, I should say, the difference between uh, uh, online dating sites and online gaming sites and how more people get matched up in online gaming sites or at least have the opportunity to connect with people because of a few different things by the the increase in adrenaline that you produce when you're in a, uh, a, a heightened uh, situation by the number of players and the connections that are made by a lot of different things so it was really pretty cool and my reflection piece I'm supposed to uh, reflect on what my thoughts are on this phenomenon. Well, I guess uh, the easiest thing is to do is since this is my wife's birthday, I'll go ahead and reflect on how my wife and I met. Uh, it was many years ago and uh, back in the 90s, early 90s, and uh, we met through a game. It wasn't an online game, but it was still a game. I had just moved to a new city uh, my wife was going to college in a town quite a few miles south of where I was at, uh, but I had a friend in that town that was uh, that was the brother of a guy who owned a game store of a friend of mine. They were both friends of mine, but the one brother he invited me to uh, come down and play what's called Werewolf the Apocalypse. It's a role play game, a tabletop role play game, and I was intrigued because we were going to have a uh, a game master who was a linguistics professor at the college. And I thought, well, this sounds pretty cool. I've uh, The last game I'd played was Shadowrun, and I hadn't really... I played a little bit of White Wolf Vampire the Masquerade, but didn't like it that much. But I liked the idea of werewolf. So I went ahead and traveled like an hour every, uh, every week to go down there and play this game. Uh, when I got there, the, one of the first things I noticed actually was my friend had tried to recruit some girls to the game. Uh, he managed getting only two, uh, and one of them was this cute redhead that at first I thought, oh, she's cute, and then I thought, ah, I'll put it out of my mind, I'm not going to worry about it, because I'd, she was a lot younger than me, and I just thought, ah, that's never going to work. So I just kind of put it out of my mind. Well, we made characters, and I played what's called a Ragabash Bonar, which is a uh, a trickster that is a in in the White Wolf games is a trickster, and he's also uh, what's a Bonar is a type of tribe where he's kind of a scavenger and stuff, and he had uh, a habit of eating like trink Twinkies and junk food and things like that. Um, what people didn't know my uh, my to be wife she was playing another character which was a uh, a gang girl she's a vampire pretending to be a werewolf because she could change into a wolf so uh, uh, the game went on for quite a while and at one point in the game uh, a life-threatening situation happened for my character and my character died uh, uh, my wife, well, not then yet wife, went ahead and tried to save me. Tried to save me by turning me into a vampire. And in the white wolf system, this is a big no-no for werewolves because it's it actually succeeded and turned me into what is known as an abomination, which is a werewolf-vampire hybrid. And uh, but the but she thought I was dead and moved on. I made a new character and. The uh, game master or storyteller uh, went along with this and went and made sure that as I played my new character, that he would drop little hints uh, of the that my other character was basically haunting my uh, 
my to be wife. And so she would find like little like Twinkie wrappers out in the woods that of somebody following them or seeing shadows and things like that. So my character, Fingers, the Ragabash Bonar, um, eventually uh, linked up again with Shay, the vampire uh, gangrel uh, um, werewolf impersonator. And, uh, um, and she found out that she wasn't losing her mind and that he was actually turned into an abomination, uh, but still a lovable little scamp. And so uh, eventually, actually, we ended up getting married. It's also interesting to note that the other girl in the game also married someone that was in the game, my friend who invited her. So, so yes, gaming does have a direct connection, I think, with love.